Hi, my name is Ethan Hine. Welcome to the Play With Your Music video on MIDI. MIDI is super, super important if you want to produce electronic music, but it's also kind of a difficult concept at first, so this is going to be spread over a few different videos. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's a protocol that was developed in the 80s for synthesizers to talk to computers and to each other. The main source of confusion for people is that MIDI is not sound. MIDI is not audio. Um, what MIDI really is, is more like music notation. It's a set of instructions for a synthesizer telling it what notes to play, when to play them, and how loud to play them. Uh, in this instance, the synthesizer that we're going to be using is just the computer itself. Computers are incredibly powerful synthesizers, among the many other things that they do. So I'm going to go into Soundation, and we're going to load up some synths, and we're going to give them some MIDI and see what we get. So this is the default Soundation session. You've got four audio channels and then one MIDI channel down here. I'm going to delete all the audio channels because I'm not going to be using them. So I'm just clicking their names and hitting Delete. So by default, the MIDI channel has got an instrument loaded into it, which is called Simple. It's a really basic synthesizer uh, and also a really boring synthesizer. So instead, I'm going to load up an instrument called SAM1, which is a sampler. And a sampler just plays back recordings of individual notes. So I'm going to load up the acoustic piano. And it's going to play recordings of individual piano keys, according to what I tell it to do. So over here in the track, I'm going to make a note clip. And note clips are really just boxes for MIDI events to live in. So here's my note clip. You can see the piano keyboard. And I'm just going to draw the note C and then play it back for you. Pretty exciting. I'm going to make it longer. There we go. Now I'm going to move it up to D. down to B. So whatever notes I tell the computer to play, it will happily play them. So I'm just going to draw a few more notes in here. I'm going to draw a D. I'll draw an F sharp. Oh, that's not an F sharp, that's a G. But the beautiful thing about MIDI is that if you make a mistake, it's easy to correct it. If I want to make my notes earlier or later, all I have to do is drag them around. So what I have here is a little uh, B minor triad. So now I'm going to create another MIDI track, and I'm going to put a beat into it. I'm going to create another note clip. And this time, the instrument that I'm going to load will be the drum machine. The drum machine looks super confusing. The main thing you need to know is that the different piano keys all trigger different drum sounds, uh, starting on the note C3. So what I'm going to do is take the pencil, and I'm going to draw a C. And that C is going to trigger the kick drum. And I'm going to mute the piano just for now so that we can uh, we can hear. All right, so there's my kick drum. And I'm going to draw in a couple of snare drums, which is going to be the note C sharp. Maybe some more kicks. that snare by accident, but again, the beautiful thing about MIDI is that it's easy to edit it. Uh, too early. Okay, cool. Um, I'm also going to draw in some hand claps to uh, double the snares, make them sound a little beefier. Next, I'm going to draw in some closed hi-hats. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it. Happy accidents are really your best friend when you're doing electronic music. So right now, the kit is playing. Kit 8 is the default one, but I could also have kit 6 or kit 7. I like kit 6 the best, actually, so that's what we're going to stick with. And I'm going to unmute the piano so you can hear them together. the piano is not very interesting, 
so I'm going to make it a little more syncopated. And the piano is kind of a boring sound, so instead I'm going to use uh, the Super Saw, which is a synthesizer. Kind of more of a dance music sound. I'll make my notes longer. I'll make this note shorter. No, I won't. That sounds dumb. Alright, there we go. So now I have a really, really simple little piece of dance music, just a bass line and some drums. In the next video, I'll add some keyboards playing chords, and we'll talk more about the different synthesizers in Soundation.